Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. So here we are back on the Timber Trail Canyon map. Uh, last time we were playing, we were doing some forwarding projects, but now since that winter map's changed a little bit, we're going to take all the forwarding over to the winter map. This one, we're going to start doing some uh, more hello logging is the plan. So uh, I've got the chopper purchased here. We've got this guy all hooked up, ready to go. So basically what we need to do first is decide on the area where we want to go and start chopping and i was thinking um i might start clearing out this pass here so two things i need to do i need to get a landing set up so site nine is a really nice landing um and then i need a place i can drop my buncher and start clearing a section and then we'll bring it out with the chopper uh bit by bit so what we're gonna do is we've got this guy hooked up so we'll, we'll fly out to our site and kind of get it set up Make sure we get right above this a lot of people don't know how to uh, carry equipment properly so what I do is I hook it up I press X to kind of let the line out as far as it'll go I make sure I get above the equipment and make sure that that line is straight then I start to take off now as you're taking off just kind of go smooth you don't want to get any kind of bungee effect in the line so just get it so it starts to lift now once you go up let it kind of balance out just kind of tap your uh, left mouse kind of gentle 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 now get to a height where you know you're going to be happy. So this is a height that I know is going to be good for me. Now you can start moving forward. And watch the line. Like slow down as the swing goes. Kind of control it. You'll figure it out if you uh, can get that smooth. You don't want it swinging too, too much. I mean, it's going to swing a bit because it's a very heavy machine. But you want it swinging the least amount possible. And then your chopper stays kind of steady. If not, see your chopper kind of starts to wig, so you just kind of slow down. You'll notice that that machine wants to uh, kind of swing out of control there, but eventually the chopper does kind of upright itself, and then you can watch your load. Just kind of keep an eye on it, see where it settles. Carry it along. So with this one, we're going to bring... Oh, look, there's our forwarding project down there. I can see all the wood still. So we're going to bring this guy right over the overpass. Now, we could either fly right over top of the mountain, or we could go through the pass. I'm thinking through the pass would be a little more fun. That's a heavy, heavy machine, this one. It's a little haywire here. So we just kind of stay still, let ourselves get sorted out. I'm going to fly a little higher because we're going to have to clear this pass. So There we go. This is a beautiful map, lots of area to lots of area to log, lots of cool little spots to go check out. Can't wait to get this one out to the public. I think this one will be a definite winner for sure. So that landing right down there is the landing or that uh, kind of brownie spot there is definitely where we're going to be dropping um, our processor, that kind of stuff. That's where our logs are going to be coming in as well. But that's not where I'm going to drop this guy, so hang tight here. Oh, and our chopper is right upside down here. So I'm just kind of trying to assess the area. So maybe what we'll do... Actually, what I should do first... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the uh, buncher down here first. And what we'll do is when we fly in, I'm going to clear kind of a, a path for us here. So, just a sec here, let's, let's, let's scout here for a second. So basically what we'll do is we'll grab trees, fly over that way, and hook around the lake. And then what I want to do is kind of create a big hole right here to bring them through. We'll fly them through here. Maybe I'll clear out that whole section of timber. And then we can process them right here. It'll be perfect. Yeah. It's not too much of a hill, it's actually kind of a natural little uh, chute there, so... Shut this guy down for now. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bunch out all of this. Which won't take long with this sweet new buncher head, so that's good. Okay, so, let's see here. Grab and go. Mm -hmm. So, where are we going to pile this? Let's just kind of offset it here a little bit. It's all going to have to get processed anyway, but it's kind of like right away what we're doing right now. Kind of, sort of like... Oops. Just missed something on that. 
There we go. It always trips me out when it doesn't make a sound sometimes, and it's like, what the heck? Okay, so let's clear all these little trees out in here. Gotta work backwards here a little bit. Whoops. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. You get it? <laughs> kind of got it. We get that out of the head. Kind of grabbed it a little funkily there. <coughs> All right, so let's get these ones. I wonder if I can get. Th I can probably get three, no problem. Or maybe it is a problem. Oh, what happened there? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. That's a strange situation. Sometimes what happens is the cut node gets locked on to uh, the tree that's in the grapple. So when you go to cut a new tree, it just treats it as a solid object and won't cut. It's kind of annoying. Because the game is the way it is, there's nothing you can really do about it, unfortunately. Build a better game, maybe. That'd be something. Let's try this again. There we go, that's better. Oh, maybe it wasn't better. Huh, it's weird. Doesn't want to grip those trees for some reason. Special little trees. Alright, let's see if we can grab this whole bundle. And then I want to put them with this bundle. I kind of want to fix that bundle because I'm getting a little OCD here. And give that a little tap. Oops. My depth perception's a little off here. There we go. Alright, so. Keep clearing out this section. I basically want this whole spot cleared right out. What's going on with my buncher head today? Something's not right here. I am going to look into that. It just doesn't like to be completely closed on those big trees. There we go. I'm going to put a pile right here. We're kind of cutting downhill, so I'm wondering if that's what the problem is here. Kind of gets caught on that little uh, collision on the buncher head. Let's try cutting sideways instead and see if that improves. Yeah, I think that's why. Ooh, it's a little rough going in here. A little rough going. Alright, we're not dropping the trees in here anyway, we're dropping them up there. I just want to get kind of a nice clean shot here. Might as well grab these since they're here. Oh, did we miss that one? What do we got in there? Two? One. Oh, weird. Uh, that's interesting. I think that tree's kind of like invisible or something. I don't know what's going on there. We had that effect a long time ago one time. I don't know, I can't remember what caused that. Okay, so... Whoops. There's something right there. Is there a tree here? Apparently there's a tree there. Look at that. Surprise! Hidden trees. Good times, right? Okay, so, where else do we need to go? Let's get the, this one. Now, these ones I'm just going to kind of, I think, fall off the edge because I don't really care about them. I don't feel like backtracking all this wood out of here. We can always pick them up with the chopper later if we really feel we need the wood. 
So into the moat you go, sir. And then pop them right off here. Waste of trees? Maybe. But do I care? Not really. <laughs> Alright, so. Oops. And I'm just having some times with these processors today. Or these uh, bunchers. I don't know what's going on. Drinking and bunching or something here. Oh, there's one I want to get to. It's hard bunching when you can't uh, destroy all the trees or all the, uh, the brush. There's a tree here. There's a tree there. Alright, so let's kind of take a look here and see. Uh, so there's these two trees here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we should drive down into this hole a little bit here, I think. And let's clear back all these trees. Might as well get this one because it's here too. Uh, maybe we just need to slow it down. Maybe I'm going too fast here. I don't know. I feel like I'm very focused, but clearly I'm not if I'm messing up this many trees. Oops. Man, this thing is just so freaking wobbly. I think it's just because it's just such crappy terrain. It's really hard to get a good cut. You have to wait for your machine to basically steady, but then as soon as you um, as soon as you go to raise your head, it makes it wobble, and then your cut goes to hell. The least we can do is try to kind of organize them here a little bit. All right, so I want to get rid of those trees as well. How are we going to get around this pile here? Maybe I'll just reach through and hopefully nail it here. It's like a invisible man grab there. Blind invisible man. Build kind of a a wall here. Kind of want that tree gone too, so I don't know how close we can get to that. We're just gonna kind of line ourselves up and do another blind grab. So it's roughly kind of there. I don't think we can reach it too far. Oh, well, we're pretty close though. Had to get the bird's eye on that one. There we go. Build a big old wall of trees here. Now, how's the rest of this place looking here? Kind of created a nice little... I'd like to get this tree over on the right and that tree over there as well. Two trees and we got it cleared. I can find this one. Holy cow. It's like a jungle in here. It's kind of neat though. I like having brush. It makes it a little more uh, tense. I probably could have come in here and hand fell all this stuff, but this is way more fun. Way more frustrating. That's what I like. Oh yeah. Frustrating. It's good. Yay, we're finally out of that crap. I can't wait to get up on that other hill. That's going to be a nightmare up there. 
So let's kill this tree as well. And I think we got our whole little valley tuckered out here now. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We nailed it. Okay, so what time are we at here? We're still... Oh, we're right on 15. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll call it on this one. But I think we accomplished quite a bit, so that was good. There we go. Let's take a look here and see. Yeah, so we got that whole little canyon cleared out. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? That should be more than enough room, and I'll drag them through and then drop them basically where our weird little circle that we made here is. Then, in the next video, what I'm going to do is... We're going to hook onto this guy, and we're going to bring him way up into the uh, pine pass there. We're going to make a whole bunch more piles, which will be really sketchy, and I think it will be exciting. And then uh, we'll have to bring a processor up here, and then... Yeah, logging truck adventures are going to be something else because we'll have to go up that really crappy canyon, go all the way around. It's a long way to drive, so we'll have uh, pretty pretty much some logging road episodes too, which will be kind of fun. Because I have no idea how those roads are going to be. I've, I've never driven them in a truck yet, so slow. That's what they'll be. Anyway, uh, if you guys liked the video, leave a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.